And I would like to start off today by showing you three people that all have something in common. Now, some of you may be wondering what this could be, but believe it or not, President Obama, Oprah, and Prince Harry all know how to deliver a great toast, which is the topic I'm here to talk to you all about today. In the business world, there's a lot of special events and special occasions where you might be asked to participate or contribute in some way. So it's very likely you'll be asked to give a toast at least one time in your career. In this presentation, I'm going to give you all the information you need to give a toast in any business setting. I'm going to talk about what a toast is, why it's important to know, and some etiquette tips to keep in mind if you're ever asked to give one in the future. First, let's talk about what a toast is. Basically, a toast is the type of tribute you give on a special occasion. According to the authors of our text, Ronald Adler and Jean Elmhorst, a toast is the type of tribute that expresses appreciation and or honors the accomplishments of an individual or group. It's also an opportunity to express sentiments of well wishes and good luck to the person that you're honoring as well. Like I mentioned, toasts are normally given on special occasions. Some common examples would be uh, banquet dinners, retirement parties, and other corporate functions of that nature. After hearing about what a toast is, you might ask yourself why it's important to even know this information. Well, knowing how to give a great toast is a useful skill for a few reasons. First, it's going to help you in the business world. A toast is a great opportunity to boost your visibility and your notability in an organization. Being able to give a, a, a meaningful and well-crafted toast shows that you're a dynamic speaker and that's going to impress a lot of people in your company. And not to mention, any time you can practice your public speaking skills is going to help you tremendously in terms of professional growth as well. In addition to helping you in the business world, giving a toast in an event is also personally rewarding as well because your toast is going to make a, a special event in someone's life even more memorable. Your words of appreciation and, and gratitude are going to mean a lot to that person, which in itself makes giving a toast pretty rewarding. Since we know why a toast is important, let's talk about some, some etiquette rules that will make your toast, any toast that you give, a success. Uh, when it comes to toasting etiquette, there are pretty much three main rules you need to know. The first rule is to keep it short and sweet. According to um, uh, uh, according to uh, toasting etiquette author Pamela Fiora, she says that a toast in a business event should be about 30 to 60 seconds long, two minutes at the very maximum. If you go any longer than that, people are just going to start to think that you are rambling, and it's just if people are, will start to tune out. The second rule is to be inclusive as you deliver your toast. You want to engage in eye contact with both the person you're honoring as well as everybody else in the audience. In doing this, you make sure that everyone feels included in the spirit of the message, which will make your toast much more meaningful to everyone. And lastly, the third rule is to choose your content carefully. You want to avoid making inside jokes or making references that your audience is not going to understand. You also want to avoid saying anything negative, potentially hurtful comments, or, or embarrassing stories that that person wouldn't want the whole world to know. You, you don't want to put that stuff in your toast. And you also want to make sure that the content of your toast is actually about the person that you're toasting. According to uh, etiquette coach Ellen Cream, she said that the number one mistake people make while giving a toast is that they end up talking more about themselves than the person that they're supposed to be toasting. So remember that the purpose of your toast is to is to shine a light on a person that, that's well deserving of recognition and not to talk about yourself the whole time. After, uh, after my presentation, you can tell that there's a lot of information out there about giving a toast, and I briefly